can we dream? Oh, I dream of cafes. I dream of freedom of time. I dream of owning a magazine one day. I dream of owning property. I dream of, you know, just being able to wake up in the morning and doing whatever I want with my time. I dream of just seeing clients at, you know, a restaurant over coffee in the morning at 9 a.m., like having a diary and then checking my calendar and have like a booked clients and stuff and oh my gosh. Dreams evolve. I used to dream of being a doctor and a little bit of being a lawyer and just a little bit of everything really. I, In fact, when I was a kid, I dreamt of being a, a petrol attendant just cause I liked it when the guy would wipe the water. I loved how it would just like take the, you know, that action of just removing so neatly the water uh, off the windscreen. And I was, I was like, I want to be this. But it's only because I wasn't exposed to more. So it makes me think for your dreams to expand, you do need to expand your vision. the places you go to you need to expand the people you meet because that may change your dream for the better I used to have so many dreams I didn't know which one to focus on I still do have a lot of dreams that I just want to pursue but I know that trying one of them helps a lot. I remember when I wanted to be a doctor, I went for job shadowing at Marino Hospital for about a week, which is not quite enough, but I think it was kind of enough to let me know that I don't like to be in a hospital environment. So I remember I used to want to kind of live out a dream and come back if I don't like it. Like I just wanted to job shadow everything really. If I wanted graphic design, I wanted to job shadow somebody who does graphic design. If like doctor, I wanted to job shadow that person so that I could really decide because I felt like it was so hard to decide on a career if I haven't actually experienced it. How would I know what a doctor does? How would I know what an engineer does if I've never been to their workplace? Dreams require action. I know that because for me to even be doing YouTube, it's something that I always dreamed of. Like I think I always dreamed of being in front of the camera, somehow doing something. Cause I think I'm, I love talking to people. I love talking. So for me to actually be here, it required action. I needed to actually do something about it. I need to. I needed to get a good camera. I needed to get a tripod stand. I needed to get this set up. I needed to get internet. So all these things required action. And for me to be able to be here on your screens took some level of effort. One thing I've learned about dreams is that they can fade. That is such a sad reality because I have interacted with so many people who have let their dreams fade. And I have actually seen some of my dreams fade and I have always wondered whether it's because I lost interest or I got to realize that it's not really who I am, it's not in line with who I, I want to be or I just gave up, who knows. But I think that you should take every precaution you can to make sure that your dreams don't fade. I think it would, it would just be such a sad thing at the end of your life to realize that you let your dreams fade I mean, God gave you those dreams. Dreams didn't just come from nowhere. I really believe that God placed those dreams in our hearts and ours is for the doing. We need to pursue those dreams. I love dreams. Dreams should make you feel alive, should make you feel rejuvenated, should make you feel like you're set on fire, should set you on fire. The, they're just amazing. I am a dreamer.
did to you to us. What do I say to the audience? What do I say to the people? I think I'm done. Ngakongi pagamisa, pagamisa.